Isn't it amazing? This is the result, Nigel. You and I have never had it. It's called religious conversion. The Harry we have now is not the Harry we had then. This is not the Harry of the Invictus Games. Nobody, of course, seems to know Latin anymore, least of all poor Harry. Does he actually <laughs> know what Invictus means? Invictus means undefeated, not a victim. What he did with those soldiers, you know, shot up, abused, terrible injuries, deformed, defaced, he gave them the courage not to be victims. Fantastic. To go to the gym, yeah. to do something, yeah. to take control of their lives, to do what you did after a plane crash. Yeah. What has he done now? He's been persuaded of the doctrine of woke and the doctrine of mental health. God help him. And it's like a religious conversion. Every value that this man believed in before is stood on its head. He has betrayed his entire past. And what we have now, we've got two Harrys. It's a bit, it, it is very much like Shakespeare, except that they're totally unreconciled. And whereas Shakespeare's Shakespeare's Prince Hal abandons yeah. his bad side for his good. He's abandoned his good side for this new bad, whinging, wailing, destructive... Do you know what? I think we need a stronger word than you've been using. This man is a traitor to oh, gosh. everything that he has believed in, to his family, to the monarchy, to the country, to his grandmother to his father. We see what the problem is with the new gospel, the new heresy of woke and of mental well-being. It's a gospel which is purely of the self. It discards yeah. every other obligation. Duty, service, Duty, all these service, concepts are all gone. All the things that were so yeah. exemplified by the late Queen. Yes. And instead, you have this vortex of self-absorption. But you know what, Nigel? What struck me about the whole thing was everything is so bloody petty. Mm. You look at it. Mm. We had a dispute about a tiara, a bridesmaid's dress. Do you know what? My bedroom was smaller than my brother's. <laughs> look at this list of absolute <laughs> trivia, which is, I mean, you know, on the scale of human wrong, they're not even molehills. They're barely specks <laughs> of dust. And they're not transformed into mountains. They're transformed into mountain ranges, Himalayas, <laughs> you know, lunar structures. I mean, the sheer... Finally, silliness, the self-destructiveness. Mm. Do you know what? What I feel, I don't know what you feel, I feel contempt. Yes, I have no sympathy whatsoever. I think we've directed much of our ire at Meghan over the course of the last couple of years. I think he really is the problem. It's he that's betrayed his family. And you're suggesting, David, that in more robust times, the Tower of London might have been suitable. Well, in more robust times, uh, it wouldn't have been knocked into a dog bowl. It would have been drowned in a butt of Marnsey <laughs> wine. Which is a, but, but again, if you look at the House of York, it's exactly the same thing. It's a dispute between brothers. Yeah. And again, what's come out of all of this is a sort of simmering teenage resentment. We've suddenly got those fights on the back seat of the royal limousine, mm. transformed, played in front of us, reenacted with added bitterness. And I do think, actually, I'm sorry, I do think, Megan, when people convert, I've described this as a process of conversion, there is somebody who converts. There is no doubt it's she. She has acted as his priestess into this new, absurd Californian religion. Yeah. But what I think we should all be doing, we should be seeing what the risk of the Americanization. I'm mean, sorry, I know you, you're in a bit of a trumpy, but the terrible risk of the Americanization of British public life and thought. You're sucked into this. It's a veil of despond. It proclaims it makes you well. It makes yes. you sick. And feeling. Sick. And feelings sick. matter more than facts and feelings, all of these things. My yeah, truth yeah, matters yeah, more yeah, than yeah, the yeah, truth. Yeah. No, I get that. It's utter self-destruction. So the question is, what should be done, if anything? We know that the, the palace have thus far maintained their own dignified silence and Cameron Walker 
speculating maybe they should answer. The trouble is, if they answer 15 charges, 30 more will be laid at their door. And they're all so trivial. Yeah. The point is, you get yourself into a dispute. There's a, there's a good principle of law, de, de minimis. Yeah. Don't, yeah. don't dispute about yeah. nothing. Yeah. These are nothings. I think the silence is correct for the very simple reason nobody is destroying Harry more effectively than Harry. That Every is true. Every time he gives an interview, he now, of course, he contradicts himself because the religious conversion isn't quite complete. And every so often, <laughs> the honest old Harry pops up and says, well, actually, me grandma were a terrible racist. I rather like Susan Hussey. And so the religious conversion isn't complete. There's still the perfectly decent, not very bright boy, mm. bit physical, who used to be sorted out by the army and suddenly... Do you know what? Well... He's married his mother. Yeah, and, he, and, <laughs> and he's lost the army as well. And because that was army. Because that was his second family, and they're, I think they're disgusted, and we've got some distinguished um, army personnel coming on later on in this hour. David, he's fifth in line to the throne. He has trashed the country, the monarchy, the Commonwealth, his grandmother's great lasting achievement. Yeah. Is it time for that position to be removed? Should he be sacked? No, because it would give him more attention than he deserves. He will naturally just fade away. This is old soldiers, you know, never used to die, they just mm. fade away. Mm. Harry isn't as much an old soldier, he is perpetually declining in the order of succession. Why give them the satisfaction of the attention? Why... Do you know, the only way, again, can I just explain, the only way you can actually remove the title of Duke of Sussex is by an act of parliament. Yes. Do we really want to go through that? This is, you know, it is the proverbial sledgehammer mm. for a walnut, for this tiny little gin you know, ginger nuts, I'm afraid. I know this is a family show. Uh, but, I mean, it wouldn't be all actually like to crack the ginger nuts with a sledgehammer. The trouble hammer. is, the sledgehammer might miss the nut. Uh, well, it wouldn't, if I were directing <laughs> it. I'd, <laughs> but, well, but, but but no, I don't think it's worth it. I think it would okay. make a lot of us feel better, but it would be foolish. I think that for once, the palace is doing absolutely the right thing. It's letting him stew in his own deuce. Well, and that deuce will get bitterer. Thank it you. will get hotter and more destructive to him.